All right, gamers, back down here in the valley, the Lewiston Clarkston Valley. And uh, I'm at a new pawn shop, Pawn One. I don't know if it's been here for a while. I've just never seen it, but do they have an N64 game? That's really all I care about. I'm gonna pop in, I'll find out. I better have a damn good deal. No bum deals, come on. Back to the Future, Captain Algebra's favorite. I think I see a game I need. No death ran Back to the Future, Captain Algebra knows it. He's still bitter about it. His favorite game was too easy. All right guys, I think I see a game, let's check it out. All right, uh, it feels good to find a game at a pawn shop that I don't own. The crazy thing is, I got it and it wasn't a bum deal. Jamie at Button Bashers, I got Mike Piazza's Strike Zone. Now this isn't a rare game, but for some reason I have not seen this while I've been out and about. And actually this holds a little bit of nostalgia because I did play this when I was a kid and I don't think it's actually a great baseball game, but I remember at the time being pretty cool, pretty revolutionary. I paid $3.99, so four bucks for this game. It's actually worth $7. Well, yippee yay yay so, uh, or yippee ki yay yippee ki yay that's what I meant to say. Uh, all I know is I got one more game. Counter's right here, we're getting there. This is just the beginning. I gotta find more stuff. Now I have the need for speed. But hold on, I'm not done. That was all I got that was worth anything for the N64 collection, but I do wanna mention this. If you're a gamer and you have an N64, not N64, you have a PlayStation 4, PS5, Xbox, Xbox One, anything that needs a hard drive, dude, pawn shops are the way to go. I got this for $45, but it's a one terabyte external solid state drive. This is 120 bucks on Amazon right now. For, for $45, I'm gonna plug this into my PS5, put all my PS4 games on it, and it's gonna be a solid state drive. That obviously won't be as fast as the internal drive, but at least my PS4 games are gonna be getting used to its max potential with the fastest hard drive. So when you're out about, don't forget pawn shops, because they have some cheap games, cheap hard drives, and cheap electronics. And this looks like it's brand new, which I do feel bad that someone bought it, probably had expectations and then had to pawn it off, but um, I mean, that's how life is, right? So anyway, keep going guys, one game down. Let's do this. What's going on? Here we are at the Spokane Valley Mall again, and I'm here to get some bum deals because this place has some games that I need. Last time I was in here, I spent quite a bit of money and I spent more than the games are worth. But you know what? I don't give a crap at this point because I'm willing to pay a couple bucks extra for these games to complete my collection. And I know last time I was here, I was able to buy a lot, but there was a ton of games that I still needed in this game store. So hopefully they're open. I haven't been here since. So we're gonna go to the Valley Mall. We're gonna pop in. I'm gonna try to get five or six games is my goal. Pick up some games, fill out the shelf because things have been a little bit slow. I don't even care about bum deals right now. Don't care about bum deals. I just need to find some games. Let's do it. The mall is dead. Like, there's like 10 people here. But, Fun Unlimited is open. Let's see what we got here. Got some social distancing guidelines. All right. I'm already walking towards the shelf. I know what I'm looking for, some Nintendo 64 games. What we got here? What are you looking for? Yeah, you know, I gotta get my, uh, I'll have to turn my phone off here <laughs> and look at what games I've got. But I know, I think I need Vigilante 8. I think I need Vigilante 8, and I'll, uh, I'll pull the phone out. We'll go through some inventory here. All right. Sweet. How long do you have the store? I might as well let everybody know here. I'm doing a uh, vlog. It's been about three years, three and a half years. And how's business been? Uh, this last year, well, the pandemic has kind of been slow. Yeah. Before all that, it was... Good. Well, I'm glad you're still here. I'm glad you made it through the, the worst of it, I hope. We'll see. I hope so. Hopefully, too. we're done with that crap. <laughs> Look at that stack, folks. I'm not messing around today. Now for the reveal. All right, you sadistic little nerds. You're in for a treat when it comes to bum deals. I went in not giving two craps how much these games cost because it's been a month and a half since I found games. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna complete this collection, so I'm going for it. So I spent way more money than these games are worth and it's freaking humorous almost. 11 games I added to my collection, 11 games. We're gonna start off with a sports title that I didn't have. 
bottom of the ninth, featuring Juan Gonz Gonzalez, played for the Texas Rangers. He was a stud. I'll give you the total of all these at the very end, so it's just one painful slice, not a bunch of little pricks here. Bottom of the ninth, we'll have to pick that up, never played it. Rally Challenge 2000, obviously a racing game. Pretty beat up, probably got charged double because of it. Uh, Big Mountain 2000, somewhat rare-ish game. Uh, pretty good shape, so this one's nice. I like having the rarer games if they're gonna be, uh, you know, in good shape, not so beat to death. But I got uh, Big Mountain 2000. A classic, Bust a Move 2, arcade edition. Bust a Move has been around on every freaking Nintendo platform, so why not the N64? So put the old Bust a Move 2 in the collection with that one. Here we go, my sport soccer right here road to the world cup 98 uh don't plan on playing this but uh gotta get it this one was rough it's been hard to find fighters destiny 2 wish the label was in better shape pretty sure they didn't even clean this but uh it's the only copy i've seen out and about so i wanted to get it just to have it fighters destiny 2 a sequel obviously to fighters destiny which i picked up at an earlier location for a vlog Here's one that I can't wait to go home and not play. Virtual Chess 64. Yeah. So uh, I'm sure that's real. I mean, I, I feel bad. Uh, Juan Juan. It says Juan. And then he put his name again, Juan. So I don't know. Poor Juan had a rough Christmas getting Virtual Chess. Unless that was his thing. Well, while we're at it, I might as well just say Virtual Pool. If Juan's name was on this one, I would have crapped myself. But no, this was a Hollywood video rental, which means it probably doesn't work. Anyway, Virtual Pool. These are going to be fun to clean. They all have stickers all over them. Crap. COVID. Ugh. It's going to be great. Here's one that I really had a hard time paying for. Not because I don't love the game, but because I owned it as a kid and played the crap out of it. And that's Vigilante 8. I must have traded it in for the second game. Vigilante 8, second offense. Anyway, nice clean copy here. So excited to have this. Uh, the label's missing up the back, which makes me a little bit nervous. So I'm going to double check and make sure this is a legit copy. But I think it is. Uh, it feels like it is. And it usually, there's a few signs you can tell. Uh, which might be a video for another day. The Vigilante 8. Then I had to go with Knife Edge Gunner. I don't know why I grabbed this other than uh, it's been on my list for a long time. I think I got like a page with all my labels. And I think this is like one of the last ones. So hopefully we're going to clear some pages out. And last but not least, the old Disney King himself, Mickey Speedway. Is this game better than Mario Kart? I'm actually going to try it out. Mickey Speedway USA. Uh, pretty good shape. Uh, definitely need to clean all these out though. I just don't know where you got them from. Seriously, probably went dumpster diving. Uh, the guy's super cool. I love sport and local, so you know, I, of course, I like getting good deals. But these games are all priced, I would say, about five bucks over value, which is consistent no matter what the price is. So if they're twenty bucks, they're twenty-five. If they're ten, they're fifteen. Um, but again, I mean, it's one of those things where it is what it is. Jamie the Button Bashers is getting his Jergens and T Kleenex out because he loves hearing about these bad deals. So what I pay? Paid a little over 200 bucks for these games. That's right, $200 in cash for a bunch of old crusty Nintendo games. You know what they're worth? Like 152. So 11 games times five, 55 bucks. I overpaid five bucks a game. And I can't wait to do it again so I can complete this damn collection. So come at me. Anyway, this vlog has been long overdue because I have not filmed anything in about a month and a half because it's been slow going. So I'm done. I'm not gonna spend my money. I'm gonna go save some money until I find more games. But guys, thanks for being part of this journey. We're at 233. I'm 63 games away from my complete collection. And I've got about an hour's worth of scrubbing on these so they can, you know, look on the shelf. These games don't even deserve to be on the shelf at this point. I'm going to go home. I'm going to scrub them. I'm going to rub them. And I'm going to put them on the shelf. So, all right, guys, keep trolling. Keep rolling. We'll see you next time.